In this video, I have a super quick tutorial for you showing how to create a fully local chatbot with LangGraph, Corrective Rag, and Rag Fusion to make a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. One of the concerns with modern AI chatbots is their hallucinations. This means they might give answers that are wrong or made up. So I decided to give it a shot and combine Corrective Rag with Rag Fusion. So let me give you a quick demo of an example of a live chatbot. That's kind of using the strategy that we are going to create in this video. And you will get a sense of what I mean. As you see in the final output are well structured and effective in providing a comprehensive answer. The code generates multiple questions from one original question, which helps to find more information. This is important for getting thorough results. Making sure these questions cover different ideas would make searches even better. After generating these questions, then the code uses the top three search scores to rank retrieved documents. This makes sure the most important information comes first. To make this even better, then combine the original question with the new questions, which makes the search even more precise. Dynamic adjustments based on user interaction could further enhance query precision over time. Checking document grading based on relevance is essential for quality assurance. Turning the combined question into a specific search query streamlines retrieval. Advancing query formulation techniques based on user trends or feedback would improve query accuracy and relevance. Corrective RAG is a method to solve the problem of poor generation when an incorrect search is performed in a RAG. And RAG Fusion is a technique that generates multiple queries related to the input query, performs a vector search on each of them, re-ranks the resulting chunks, and passes the top chunks to LLM as context. If you want to know more about Corrective RAG and RAG Fusion, you can check my two videos where I explain Corrective RAG and RAG Fusion in more detail. In this video, I am going to show you how to combine RAG Fusion and Corrective RAG, and how to use LangGraph, Corrective RAG, and RAG Fusion with any local model or paid model you would like to use to create a powerful RAG chatbot. RAG Fusion might rank a document high in the index, but it may still be irrelevant to the question. To fix this, I use a corrective RAG relevance evaluation filter and web searches. This helps to remove irrelevant documents and add more information when needed. This method prevents confusion from irrelevant documents while keeping the different information that RAG Fusion provides. First, we create a few questions that are similar to the original question. Then, we search for documents that match each of these questions, including the original one. We rank these documents and pick the best ones. Next, we combine all the questions into one comprehensive question. We check if the documents we found match this question. If the documents don't match, we perform a web search to find more information. Finally, we use all the documents and web search results to generate an accurate answer. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the requirements.txt. Once installed, we import Langchain, Chat Prompt Template, Langchain Community, OS, Typing, Langchain Core, Operator, Langchain Schema, LangGraph, Langchain OpenAI, and Streamlit. We define a graph state class using a typed dictionary to specify the structure and types of a dictionary for managing an AI driven document retrieval process. It includes attributes such as LM OpenAI for the language model, EMB model for the embedding model, and question for the original query. The class also tracks generated queries, integrated and transformed questions, message history, documents retrieved through searches, and whether a web search is needed. This setup is designed to streamline the flow from query generation to final document retrieval for language model input. This function generate query takes a graph state object and generates multiple search queries based on the input question. It uses a language model to create the queries, ensuring each one is on a new line and keeps the original meaning. The system and human prompts guide the generation process. The function returns a new graph state list of generated queries, including the original question as the first entry. The queries are printed for review. This function retrieves relevant documents based on generated queries. It loads a PDF, splits it into chunks, and creates a vector database using Chroma and OpenAI embeddings. For each query in Generate Queries, it performs a similarity search in the database to find the most relevant document chunks. 
Finally, it returns these retrieved documents to a dictionary. We create S function that performs a fusion process on retrieved documents. It combines and re-ranks documents from multiple searches using a reciprocal rank fusion algorithm. The function then selects the top three highest scoring documents, prints their scores, and filters the original document list to keep only these top ranked documents. Finally, it returns the filtered list of documents. When evaluating the relevance of a document, multiple questions are merged into one. We create a function that integrates multiple generated queries into a single question. It uses a language model with system prompts and human prompts to rewrite and consolidate the questions. This node was created to connect RagFusion and Crag. There may be other ways to evaluate the relevance of each question without merging them. This function grades the relevance of documents to an integrated question. It uses a language model to evaluate each document's relevance based on a specific system and human prompt. The function processes each document, invoking the LLM to determine if it's relevant yes or no. It prints the relevance evaluation for each document, keeps only the relevant ones, and sets a flag if any document is deemed irrelevant. Finally, it returns the filtered documents and the search flag. Then I create a function that decides whether to generate a new query or create a message. It checks the is search flag from the input state. If the flag is true, it returns transform query, indicating a need for a new query. Otherwise, it returns create message, suggesting that the existing information is sufficient. As you see, the function transforms an integrated question into a web search query. It uses a language model with a specific system and human prompts to rewrite the question. The function creates a chain that processes the input question, invokes the LLM, and passes the output. It then runs this chain on the integrated question, prints the resulting web search query, and adds it to the state. Finally, it returns the transformed question as part of a dictionary. Next, we create a function that performs a web search based on a transformed question. It retrieves the transformed question and existing documents from the state. It then uses a search API wrapper to run a search query with the transformed question. The function adds the new search results to the existing documents. Finally, it returns an updated list of documents that includes both the original and newly retrieved information. Let's create a function that creates a formatted message for generating an answer. It retrieves documents and the original question from the state. The function defines a system message and a human message template. It then joins the content of valid documents with a partition line. Using these components, it formats a prompt with the document context and the original question. Finally, it returns the formatted messages ready for use in generating an answer. Lastly, we create a function that generates a response using a language model. It retrieves the output and the formatted messages from the state. The function then invokes the LLM with these messages to generate a response. Finally, it returns the generated response as a single item list in the messages key of the output dictionary. Then I set up nodes for query generation, document retrieval, fusion query integration, document grading, and response generation. Then I add conditional edges based on the decision to generate a new query or create a message. Next, I include nodes for query transformation and web search when needed. Then the graph is compiled at the end, creating an executable workflow. The benefits of combining RAG Fusion and Corrective RAG may not be immediately apparent from the execution results. However, the processes of generating similar questions, calculating scores, merging questions, determining relevance, and creating queries for web searches appear to function effectively. The code is a bit long because of how RAG Fusion and Corrective RAG are combined with a single branch and no cycles. 